How should you talk to your kids about God? What if you don't even know what you think? When I was 13, I went to synagogue and I saw all these people standing up and sitting down and standing up and sitting down and standing up and sitting down. And it was Rosh Hashanah and I opened up the prayer book and I saw all this stuff about Avinu Malkeinu, our father, our king. And I said to myself, you know what? This doesn't make any sense. That's when I decided I was an atheist. And then my junior year of college, my mom died of cancer. And maybe in grief or something, I was broken open because strange things started to happen. I'd walk around and start to feel these experiences of, of luminosity, feeling like the lines between me and the rest of the world were growing thinner, that it wasn't totally clear where I ended and everything else began. I'd start to feel connected to the beautiful, pulsing stream of all life in ways that I'd never expected or thought possible. It was very confusing. It was very confusing. And I went looking to try to find language to describe what was happening to me. And in the middle of all of this, I discovered that Judaism never really intended for us to think about God as like a dude in the sky who sees you when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake. That even words like Avinu and Malkenu are in the prayer book because uh, they're metaphors, right? They're words that are attempting to point us at a reality that is ultimately beyond language. So as I began allowing the word God into my own picture, the experiences got bigger and they changed and they grew in ways that I never ever thought were possible. That's a little bit of my own story of my experiences with God. But ultimately, I don't know any better than you do what God is or isn't. I can just tell you what's happened to me and what I've come to believe is a result of that. What if Instead of feeling like you need to be all-knowing on the subject of unknowable reality, you modeled for your kid what being a person can be. Being a person of faith, maybe. Or a person of doubt, or a person of curiosity, or struggle, or wonder. A person yearning for connection, or compassion, or love, or God, all of those things. It's messy and uncertain down here. What if admitting that wasn't just okay, it was absolutely exquisitely beautiful.